Welcome back to Who's Up, where we talk about sports, personal finances, health and wellness, and we tackle some current events. Uh, I know we just had the 4th of July come up. I know a lot of people was cooking out, eating out on the grill, having a good old time. But Dr. J, I know um, high blood pressure has been running rampant in our communities. So what are some summer tips and some summer things to help us out with that? Cool. Yeah, blood pressure been one of them things, man. Um, you know, for a good little stretch, it was a wasn't a patient I didn't see that had didn't have high blood pressure. So, I guess um, just to touch on that, what it is first, um, you know, your blood pressure is kind of like if you think about your blood vessels in your heart as a water system. You know, what I'm saying so that the the vessels will be like a hose. So the pressure can go up if we restrict the hose itself, and that can be from say what we eat if it clogs the inside of it, or we can increase the pressure if we turn the pump. Right. So say that would be if our heartbeat goes up. Right. So when we exercise, our blood pressure is supposed to go up. That's why we check it so much in physical therapy, um, because we exercise and then moving the body to get stronger. But we don't want to push it to a point that's really, really high. So what's been happening in our community is and with a lot of people, it's not just our community, but um, the chronic stresses we face in our life have been like pushing these heart rates up ever so slightly. And that's how our blood pressure can go up over time. So we're going to look at stuff today we can do to kind of clap back a little bit. Um, so most of the things that we're going to talk about, they have certain elements in them. And that's going to be um, potassium, magnesium, calcium, right? And then another compound or the, the compounds in the food is going to help the body to be able to produce nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is going to help relax the, the blood vessel muscles, keep being too much pressure on them, right? So I have a couple of foods pulled out. Get some notes. Um, citrus, and this, um, this is going to come from healthline.com if y'all want to check that out in the future. Um, they have 17 different foods that you could try to help bring your blood pressure down. Um, they mentioned citrus fruits first. That's just about anything that's got vitamin C in it. Um, grapefruits and oranges and stuff like that, right? They all taste good, right? Y'all say it tastes good? Yeah. Um, that's, that's one thing I always hear people say that, you know, healthy foods don't taste good. Whenever I hear that, I think that maybe you haven't been exposed to a good cook. I've never known an orange that tastes bad, you know, or a mango. You know, some people don't like that flavor, but it still tastes good to me. What about salmon? Y'all like those? And, and other fatty fishes like that, like, say, um, haddock and things like that. Not haddock, um, uh, mackerels. That's what I think about omega-3s, that kind of stuff, right? So basically, um, those fish are going to, they have uh, this compound called oxyplins, and it's going to help prevent the constriction of the blood vessels, right? Um, Swiss chards and other greens like spinaches and cabbages and all that kind of stuff. Y'all like them? All right. So they got um, fiber in them and then a lot of potassium and magnesium. That's going to how they help us out. So, you know, say if you're a person that doesn't like salads with lettuces and kale and all that kind of stuff, well, you can eat greens. You know, that's hot salad, right? All right. Um, pumpkin seeds, they get another good one. Not pumpkin spice and pumpkin bread and pumpkin lattes. All right. We're talking about seeds now. Um, but they, they've got potassium again, magnesium again. Um, they're going to help with increasing the production of nitric oxide. They'll bring our oxygen, um, bring our blood vessel pressure down. Um, beans is another good one. And lentils, y'all like those? Right? Kidney bean, baked bean, lima bean. Go down the list. Put them in rotation, right? Um, berries, they're good ones. Um, blueberries, red berries, red, um, raspberries. Um, some ones I hadn't heard of, choke berries and cloud berries. I never heard of them before. Well, oh, well, you can buy choke bears on Adam and Eve. Choke bears? Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> First, mm -hmm. Yo. Dan <laughs> off the chain. <laughs> okay, okay. Dan off the chain. Boy, he said choke bears. <laughs> but um, I guess they're um, these small dark berries, if you in real life, not the ones off Adam and Eve. But they got a lot of antioxidants in them, put it like that. Um, cloud berries. I never heard of those before. Maybe I want to look them up for me to what they are. But um, aromath. That's a uh, that's a grain, kind of like um oat and um millet. I mean um or spelt and that kind of stuff. Like you make bread out of it. Um, Ooh. it's a whole grain. It's got a lot of magnesium in it. Aromath. Um, pistachios. They're good for you. Um, carrots, celery, tomatoes, potatoes, um, broccoli. Uh, Greek yogurt, y'all you know, like that? There you go. Now, the where I, where I like where this 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 next one they have down is herbs and spices, right? 
And this is where I think we can make the most impact. But that's where all the flavor is, right? Um, we want to try to avoid too much salt. That's going to have the cellar going to push it up. But if we go down to the celery seeds, cilantro, saffron, lemongrass, black cumin, ginseng, cinnamon, and this, the list goes on and on. But the, the herbs and spices, they really change it around. Chia seed and flax seeds, beets. And then the last one they mentioned again is spinach, right? Um, spinach has a lot of the antioxidants and the potassium. Um, I guess I'll open it up to you guys. Um, what's some things that you feel like would be barriers to people getting this stuff? Um, I'll go first. Me personally, I do have high blood pressure <clears throat> and I didn't even know about a lot of those things. Um, mm -hmm. Be completely honest with you, I ain't even look them up. Mm -hmm. I, I just be move, moving and grooving, but um, I think it's just probably lack of information and, and a lot of the, a lot, I'd probably say not a lot, maybe 20% of the things that you listed, I personally had never heard of or had never tried. Um, so I think that it's just uh, what we we're exposed to. I know my mom never cooked us no lentils, lent, I guess lentil beans or. Yeah, they, they, they love beans. They look like yeah. um, peas, but flat. Okay. Yeah. No, I've never, I've never had those. Um, no cloud berries. No, uh, was all the, the choke berries that uh, Danny Ocean uses. I ain't never had any of those either. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I think I would just say personally, I didn't, I didn't know a lot of these things. Like I like oranges, but I didn't know that they actually, you know, would help with, you know, high blood pressure. So I just think it's probably lack of information rather than not mm -hmm. wanting to eat them. Okay. That's something that I've heard a lot from my patients. What about you, TJ? What you think? Um, I think one of the, I think one of the biggest things um, when it comes to like the high blood pressure stuff that is not necessarily always found in unhealthy people. Like you can be physically fit and still have high blood mm -hmm. pressure, like mm -hmm. obese or overweight. You know, mm -hmm. those are those are major causes of it as well. But I think mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest things. And um, also like with the food, I, like I said, I think it's just important. Like stop eating so much processed stuff and you know try to do more in home cooking and stuff like that. I think mm -hmm. that will also help out with getting those right foods and actually actually get you exposed to like knowing about the foods, like different stuff you look up, like you know, like a man like was it a mandarin salad has like little oranges in it. Like mm -hmm. you know, making that stuff at home or going to like fancier restaurants that, you know, have that type of stuff, you kind of get exposed to different things. So like Justin's saying, like just that exposure, getting out the um you know, out of the supermarket, out of the frozen section, out of the microwave meal type vibe can help a lot. Uh, also, to can uh, piggyback off what TJ said, I have a, a question for you, Dr. J. Like, where do you find, like, most of these fruits and, like, vegetables? Because, again, me personally, I know I shop at Walmart, and I don't know if I've ever seen those things. I don't know because I mm. try to go up and down every – out and just try to look for healthy stuff but a lot of times it doesn't they don't really stick out to me so I don't know if it's a oh you're going to the wrong type of stores mm -hmm. and maybe you're not going to stores that highlight these you know some of these ingredients and some of the things that you're saying so again I would like some suggestions if you could on different stores that may easily highlight these items so mm -hmm. I don't have to spend three hours at Walmart looking for because you know people crazy there so that's right. That's right. That's the whole foods. Yeah. So like say um what you want to do is look for certain parts of the store straight up, like go straight to the produce section, right? Okay. Um there's some stuff you're not gonna see because it's not in season. You know, some stuff gonna come and go. So like just say we fast forward to the other side of Jan like say it's January, look for strawberry. That might be a little hard to find. But say like your your cabbage and your collard greens and kales, like the, the leafier greens, a lot of them do come in in the wintertime in the fall. So season gonna drive the bus, but say if you're out, if you want to get out of Walmart, um, Food Line, they solid on some stuff. Kroger solid on stuff. Whole Foods, they T. They mentioned them. Um, Trader Joe's. Uh, I mean, let's go. Uh, Leo even got some stuff on their low. So like, sometimes you know, if you don't want to spend too much of the day riding around, it is good to kind of go to more than one spot because you'll find that some stuff on sale or you know people don't have certain stuff in stock. But I would say you know try to keep it keep it simple, right? Um, Go and go in like categories, right? So say like leafy green, that's one category. Citrus fruit, that's another category. Then you can kind of pick what you like and kind of fit your taste buds. 
Okay. Or you can go by colors, right? Like say um, red fruits and vegetables, green, blue, purples, all that kind of stuff. Um, eat the rainbow. Instead of taste the rainbow with Skittles, we eat the rainbow, right? Okay. Um, because um, you'll find that, like, say, a lot of the orange foods, they're good for your eyes, right? They like mangoes <clears throat> and carrots. They got beta carotene and vitamin A. That's good for you. And then that's the other good thing, too. Say we're trying to fight blood pressure, right, well, on, on this topic. All these same foods will help us out fighting against diabetes or fighting against arthritis, fighting against other stuff. So, um, Danny Ocean, what's, 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 your, what's your thoughts on this journey for blood pressure? What's some things you may have experienced in the past? Well, first, high-key Lidl. Is, is 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 clutch like we shop yeah. we get our produce from Lidl like it, it's org their leafy greens are organic and they're they're pretty affordable like you can get a canister of mixed green organic salad for like two dollars you know like mm -hmm. it's 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 a good deal I, I enjoy Lidl a lot but Dr J you and I had this conversation like was it three or four months ago I went to the doctor and they were like mm -hmm. hey your blood pressure is extremely high you're on the verge of being put on medication and then I called him. And we kind of had a game plan to help bring that down so I didn't have to go on medication. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then a lot of times I think we don't talk about, and Dr. J, you hit on this, like the stress, right? Like we, mm -hmm. like my, my blood pressure was high because I was really stressed at work and in managing stress. Mm -hmm. So like, like TJ said, it's not necessarily because I'm the most fit person on this podcast and my blood pressure was still, mm -hmm. was still a little high. So like it, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with like being obese. I mean, those are factors like TJ said. But managing your stress level is is also like key in, in maintaining your blood pressure because that was it for me. It was just all stress related because I eat pretty well. Again, I'm the best, the most in shape person on this pod and I had health issues. So it can happen to anybody. Yeah. I it's mean, good to know you told the truth about some of the things, but we'll everything continue. I say is the truth. <laughs> well, he's he smiling. He's getting on the head though. Like weight is not the only factor. It is a factor, but it's not the only one. Um, because that, that chronic stress, like I said, um, the flight or flight response, that's what we're looking at, right? The sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic is turning everything on. Um, breathe faster, heartbeat go up, pupils dilate. I got to be ready for action. Fourth quarter going on, I got to do something. See what I'm saying? Either I got to protect myself or get away from it, right? But going to work every day, sitting at the desk can give you that same internal response, but now I've done nothing physical to burn it off. And I'm stressing every day and it never turns off. See what I'm saying? So that's how I can catch up on some of the smaller people. But even myself, I'm probably the smallest person on this podcast. And when I was in school a good 10 years ago, I was as heavy as I ever been in my life, eating all types of salt. Like I'm talking about the person that two or three pack of noodles at the time. And I knew I knew it got bad when I had an argument over the last pack of noodles. And that's why I knew it got, it got out of hand. Like, oh, so you were a fiend. Yeah, it, it was bad, bro. Salt, salt. My, let me that sweet, a sweet tooth, right? right? I had the salt tooth. So okay. that's that's been one of my challenges is trying to find ways around from being filled with excessive amounts of salt and sodium, right? So the herbs and spices, I, I mentioned that. Like, that's going to be a good friend. Um, like, say, turmeric and, and um, garlic and onions and all that kind of stuff. It tastes good as it is, but it's going to help bring your blood pressure down. Um, <clears throat> and then exercise, that's going to be a good one for it too, because it make your body more efficient. You, some of the same things that would be stressful on the body enough that it would cause a, a drastic increase in blood pressure, it wouldn't be that same amount of a response to you. You know, say 50 pounds worth of weight wouldn't be that strain on the body once you're used to it compared to somebody that's not used to it, that kind of stuff. Um, and then it's going to help process all that um, hormones that's built up through the day from the sympathetic nervous system, we get to kind of burn some of that off. So um, something else we can do besides the, the foods and the exercises is um, deep breathing to help with the relaxation parts of it, right? So <clears throat> you can take um, the count of a four and just use that as your number. So you can breathe in for four counts, you can hold the breath in for four counts, breathe out for four counts. And then something I learned recently is you hold your breath with empty lungs for four counts. So the thought process behind that is when we breathe, we're trying to push out carbon dioxide just as much as we are trying to get in oxygen, right? Actually, it's probably even more important to get the waste product out than is to get the new oxygen in. So when you hold that, that pause of an empty breath, that trains your body not to panic to get to the next one so fast and helps bring it down over time. So just to give a quick example, we go in, pause, we go out, and then we pause, empty, and then back up and if you, you 
increase the time. You know, you can make it a slow four or five counts, whatever you want to make it be. But that'll help you kind of calm down. Say somebody cut you off in traffic and you feel yourself kind of ramp up. You can kind of – or somebody pluck your nerves as soon as you get home. You can kind of do that kind of stuff. Or having a hard time going to sleep. That's another factor that I've been noticing is a lot of the patients, they just tell me they don't get any sleep. Some of them working two and three jobs, fighting four and five kids, or the case may be. We got to get some rest to recover somehow, some way. Um, but the main the main thing I've noticed from the doctor side of it is, like Justin was saying, is the lack of information. And, you know, I know in physical therapy, <clears throat> we spend more time with the patient than other professions do. We see in multiple visits, multiple weeks, almost getting to their life, we can know them. Other doctors, to get them passed, well, give them a benefit of the doubt, they in and out. They don't have that kind of time. And if you see somebody with their blood pressure at a certain level, these lifestyle changes take time to occur. So you got to give them a pill to keep them out of the emergency room, keep them from, from dying, right? But now we don't have a chance to get this conversation piece in of change your lifestyle around. Um, and then one other one that we didn't mention would be smoking. That's the one that can kind of route the blood pressure up. Um, we talked about sleep. We talked about stress. We talked about lack of activity. Um, and then, like I said, if we can get this this menu adjusted, I think we'll make a lot of progress. Um, we can reduce some of the fats in some of these recipes. You know, so say say we take the collard greens instead of putting the neck bone in there, we could put vegetable oil. You know, so or, or plant based oil. It doesn't have to be vegetable. It could be coconut oil, grapeseed oil. It's a lot of different plant based oils out. And I think as we keep progressing forward as a society, I think we'll see the tide turn towards more healthy things in the long run. I mean, that's what we need to stay alive. Right? And, um, and it doesn't have to taste bad. That's the thing. You know, if you, if you use your right spices and seasonings and, and be creative too. You know, um, I know TJ, he got a real good bean recipe, right? So we just take those beans and now we eat them at the same cookout. We just hook them up and we taste them good. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Bean recipe? Like, what kind of recipe? Beans, baked beans. Go on. I mean, my baked beans are the healthiest, but they really good. So what's the secret to your baked beans? My secret? Uh, use um sausage oil. The swine, okay. All right, so like uh, so yeah. Dr. J was like, what? I've been eating this swine. Yeah. Turkey, that's what, see, that's what I was going to say. Oh, turkey, turkey sausage. sausage. Yeah, I, you know I don't know what I'm saying? That pork stuff too, too often. Okay. If it ain't, that's, you know, if it ain't pepperonis, I probably ain't eating it. Okay. That's the kind of subtle substitutions we make. You see what I'm saying? Turkey sausage or pork sausage, or say, make example, say um, milk, right? Somebody might be lactose intolerant, right? You don't have to taste milk all that you like. You can get the plant-based milks, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, or, you know, instead of one extra soda, one extra glass of water. You know, it's little small things like that. And we do that type of stuff in sports all the time, you know, one more touchdown and one less interception. And that can be all the difference in a game or a season. So if you look at it over a course of a lifetime, Every so often, you just make one extra healthy decision compared to one not so healthy decision, and you'll make a lot of progress. Because um, that's another thing I notice is people try to make the change too fast, and then they have a rebound effect. And um, one other physical therapist, she was putting me on to it. She was saying we got to give our bodies time to change down to the down to the hormones and down to you know our, our metabolism, right? So the thought process is your body's used to this much energy coming in and going out. And if we change that in terms to lose weight too drastic, your body says, hey, I'm starving, I'm panicking, something I'm going to crisis. Now we fight back against it, you know. So little small changes over time, and you'll get there. And then that gives you time to, you know, not break the bank on buying stuff, you know what I mean? Because you try to go from unhealthy to full pantry of pure organic. It can add up. You know what I'm so like I say, you do gradual changes to get there. Um, and then I would say make it fun, too. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to try a new recipe out. Or like uh, Danny Ocean is kind of cracking jokes when he's the most in shape. You know I mean? We'll make a challenge out of it. Right? Put your money where your mouth is, you know? Because he is. Right? We're going to find out. We got a we got a basketball game coming up very shortly, Mr. Danny Ocean. We're going to see what time it is. Yeah. Hey. I think we're going to have a lot of stuff coming down the pike after this whole 
virus and you know things opening back up, we can get outside a little bit more. I think we have a little more challenges on the way. I can foresee in the future. Mm-hmm. I think we have a, a, playing. Nice, a cooking challenge might be on in the, on the menu. Oh, you guys, you guys are playing for second. I'm playing to eat. What y'all talking about? Man? <laughs> <laughs> I watched Tyler Day the Nice earlier today, and I'm like Ricky Bobby. If I ain't first, I last. Then you just gonna be last. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, I'll be first to eat whatever y'all are cooking. Boy, I, I must say, I'm, I think I'm about to join Justin on the, on the judges panel. That way, I can't yeah. live. We will fix the outcome real quick. I don't know. TJ was smoking some um some what was, was that lamb. that was lamb. Lamb, oh yeah. Yeah, in the in the barrel cooker. I see you, TJ. Yeah, you yeah. said what's up. Yeah. Came out right too. Yes, sir. Lamb, lean protein. Look at Not that. that much cholesterol. I ain't never had lamb before. Lamb is oh. delicious. Yeah, you had. At your house? Nah, we went to um I know you had it because we went to Cheryl Wedding. She had them as a- oh yeah, you right. I we, oh yeah, I had a couple pieces. My yeah. bad, yo. They had lamb kebabs. Nah, it was the lamb. They had lamb chop like lamb shears right? on top. What when you go to they serving oh. lamb as an appetizer? Yeah, you know, yeah, Cheryl, they they did it. Oh, they did it. oh, I ain't never been to no wedding. Yeah, they had, or they have well, lamb as so. What was that? Lamb. What was the main course? Like you can't, you just can't go from lamb and then give me chicken for dinner. Like what was oh, the main? Yeah. Well, uh, by that time, I'd had a few drinks, so I don't know. Yeah, bro, we was lit. Yeah, they had. You, you guys didn't make it to dinner. You were so drunk. Jesus. Yes. But the thing about it was it took so uh, – you know, Okay. So how long was, ago was this? Oh, this was almost two years ago in October. Oh, so you were you were in your late 20s, and you couldn't make it to dinner without getting ripped. Oh, I'm t- the, she had an open bar. We was in that mug going. Hey, I'm not judging. I went to an open bar to like a 40th birthday party. Open bar. I was drunk before the music started playing. Like, yes, I'm not so. judging. Uh, that, so. I walked in there drunk and I got even more. I don't remember how I got home. For real, if we being honest. Oh, I remember how we got home. Yeah, my wife was oh, driving. We're like we gonna, we gonna stop right there because we ain't talking about no DUIs. We ain't talking about no, no, no. Have ain't, have ain't, uh, have ain't drink, but she was driving like she was in a NASCAR. I said, I listen to so oh, him. Like, either she was she was angry at y'all. That's oh, what that was. Was, oh, she, she was, she was mad at me. She said, I'm gonna kill these more tonight. She was oh. looking, she was on the phone looking up the life insurance policy. <laughs> Yo, I thought we was in a spaceship. I am not yeah. gonna hold you. I was hoping yeah, I said, Y'all definitely trying to run people's blood pressure up. Uh, this yeah, time. you, you. I hope you, I hope you thank the Lord because she, she thought about killing y'all. Didn't realize she was in the car. She thought about giving, giving y'all to the Lord. I know TJ and I are probably the back drooler, bro. We was lit, dog. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, what you got? Go on, Dr. J. Oh, I was going to say, it's funny y'all mentioned alcohol. That is uh, one of the risk factors for increased blood pressure, right? We don't want to fight with the kidney and the liver too, too much. Um, the kidney is going to help regulate our blood pressure as far as like how much um, total. Okay. So that's another way we can tell how much blood pressure we got total fluid, right, in the body. So if we got an excess amount of salt coming in, and then we drink a bunch of water, we retain fluid, that can push it up. So a lot of the medicines that you take, they work through the kidney as far as how they go. So if alcohol go through the kidney, we want to make sure we keep them flushing and feeling good, right? So too much alcohol, not good. But a little wine, relaxation, good for the blood vessels, keep everything flowing good, right? So I guess the general theme is we keep everything flowing well and freely. And we can kind of ride this thing out and drink all we want to responsibly. Yeah. Responsibly. That's it. A drunken, Whatever a drunken TJ party and Justin, is cool. An alcoholic life, we're doing a little bit much. You know whatever what TJ and Justin would do, you do the opposite and you'll be okay. Hey, I ain't even got it. <laughs> Where yeah. No, I'm saying drinking wise. Ain't nobody. Look, we ain't drinking and driving. We know that. I'm saying like yeah. getting drunk before dinner drunk, with the lamb. I get, so y'all had lamb chop appetizers, then had the nerve to get drunk and miss the rest of the meal. Y'all crazy? No, we no, I'd have we been had the meal too. Hey, I just don't remember it. Yeah, I'd I don't have been. Remember. Hey, as soon as they, they pull out the lamb chops, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta say what this. Man, lamb chops. Yeah, hey, I think they saved yeah, it. They drank that song. They part yeah. away. Goodness yeah. gracious! Yeah. That was no way. Yeah, it was. It was lit too. My God. Yeah, I forgot. Yo, she had some good food. I just remember it, she even had vegan portions for some people. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah, that wouldn't have happened. Well, now, <laughs> now a lot of wedding they offer that as part of their their a vegan option. Yeah. As part of their packages, not because it's so common. 
Sure, I forgot why we had. I think it was choice beef or chicken. What we doing? Yeah, grilled cheese and doing, didn't you? Yeah, we had grilled cheese appetizers. Don't say it was an entree, my. No, yeah. I didn't say that. I was just saying like uh, they were good. Like we, yeah, we I was had, like, like a little soup janks with it, like the yeah. little yeah, yeah, we had soup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was good. I remember that we 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 had them during the tasting, but it was delicious. I'm not sure if it was good for my blood pressure, but I ate the hell out of grilled cheese, boy. Hey, that, that, that's the one day you get past. That's the one day calories and blood pressure don't count as your wedding day. That's you stress. Right. It's gonna be high because you stressed anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of wedding, I was going through uh, some pictures and I saw uh, I had a picture in my gallery of uh, TJ uh, when he was giving your best man speech. He was just up there, just cheesy. I said, "I think, I think I have that same picture from my wedding. Like he just yeah. kind of staring off into space. Like, is he talking to us? Or is he talking to Jesus? Is there a teleprompter on the ceiling? That's what I remember. I was like, who is he looking at? Uh, I thought Shaq was in the back somewhere. Like he was just yeah. staring off at. Danny, then the ocean had us crying, and when he said, "I'll uh, search yeah. the heavens, sure I it. I said, "I said, oh, hey, that That's joint it. came out of nowhere." I pulled, I pulled that one out of the sky. Hey, I was up there talking some. I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pulled that joint out of the sky. I looked over oh, those shoes, man. Oh, the cleanest shoes I was seeing oh, in my yeah. life at a wedding. Yeah, Stole them joints. Those, those, those joints were red, I, boy. Dr. J, you are waiting on the cruise, dog. You had an open bar. I got so drunk. Like, I, don't, I remember the, the ceremony. And then we went to that round, to the, to the club. And they had them hors d'oeuvres and they had all that liquor. I said, man, hook me up. Yeah, I, I went back to my room and fell asleep. It was like five o'clock. Bro, they was like, don't did the, um, the dudes from the Ukraine take the picture? He was like, just a little bit to get in the mood. That's too much. No, but mess the was... pictures up. You ain't gonna be shit facing your pictures, man. You, you know? Hey dog, I, <laughs> as soon as soon as we rap and we went in that joint, they was drink up. Yes. Oh, I didn't come back out till dinner, like late dinner. Like they was packing up when I finally woke up from my slumber. <laughs> now the good drinks was on that bruise cruise for your uh, bachelors. Oh man, I was drunk after the first. Oh, I went to that micro brewery. They said take this sample, good organic, healthy beer, or local, yeah. locally crafted, and all that type of stuff. I <sighs> legit went to bed at seven o'clock that night. <laughs> <laughs> I legit was in bed at seven o'clock. But anyway, that was great information today. Um, please like and subscribe to this video. Please follow us on IG at who's up underscore podcast. Also, if you have any questions, any comments, you want to hear any topics, you, have, you just want to communicate with us, please email us at 1-800-who's-up at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs>